News update. For Info Life TV, this is David Oman. The body of a 42-year-old Israeli civilian was found late Sunday night near Beit Omar, north of the West Bank city of Hebron. The man, a resident of the Bat Ain settlement, was stabbed repeatedly all over his body in what police say was likely a terrorist attack. The intelligence assessment for the year 2007 was presented to the Israeli government Sunday. According to the assessment, the chances of Syria initiating a war against Israel are slim, but the likelihood of its reacting militarily to any Israeli military operation carried out within its territory is high. Egypt, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, and other moderate Muslim countries have formed an intelligence alliance to counter the threat of an Iranian, Syrian, and Russian axis. The Turkle Committee for High-Ranking Civil Service Appointments will convene Monday evening to discuss the appointment of Prison Service Commissioner Yaakov Genot to the post of Police Commissioner after the High Court of Justice postponed discussing the petitions against Genot's appointment till after the Turkle Committee discusses the case. Istadlut labor federation leaders said Sunday that a general strike is inevitable due to the failure of the government and the local authorities to pay wages to tens of thousands of local authority workers for more than a year. The creators of a documentary are to announce finding the remains of the crypt in which Jesus and his family were buried. The coffins are said to bear the inscriptions, Jesus, son of Joseph, and Judah, son of Jesus, alluding to Jesus' unknown son. Join us today as we bring you an interview with a French consul in Haifa who stayed her post during the entire Lebanon war. Infolive.tv, the world's first television channel broadcasting on the web in four languages, live from Jerusalem. If you want a direct look at Israel and the Middle East, Infolive TV is there, at the heart of the information, at the heart of history, at the heart of Israel. Infolive.tv